for the sign of Gemini, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember, the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up Friday the 13th weekend. We'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person, Two of Swords, and it's with the Strength card. Now, the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However... You need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you are not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this definitely requires open communication from both. Just know nothing changes without effort. Now it's with a strength card. With this card, it's important for you to take time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you've got a lot of kids. Don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear because the outward things, they'll be going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility, so... Conquer any fears, control your impulse, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So your recent past energy, Gemini, between you and your person, two of swords, clarified by the strength card. So what I'm getting is that for a lot of you, you took it upon yourself to... Be like this lady in the Two of Swords. She's avoiding and she's blocking her person. For some reason, that's what you did. And the outcome was you feeling fabulous. Yeah, you started to feel proud of yourself, actually, with the strength card here. It felt good. It felt right. You felt like you were giving yourself self-respect. You were loving yourself and you were doing yourself a favor. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of, um, that's good. That's really strong and powerful. <laughs> You're doing yourself a favor. Yeah, because the strength card can be about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. So... You have a lot of love for yourself, or you realize that that's what you needed. Love for yourself. And the, it seems like the, you were thinking the only way for you to get this is to avoid and block this person. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We have the Four of Pentacles, and it's with justice. Now, Four of Pentacles, it can actually be a card about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than it's healthy or realistic. So when this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. For Pentacles, it can point to anxiety, fear. It could be about money or clinging to whatever. Clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. Now the key here is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's clinging on. He's on all fours. See the four of pentacles? He's on all, all fours. He's got his money on his, he's got his uh, hands on his money and he's got his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. 
and his brain looks like it's about to explode. If a brick, a huge heavy brick, fell out of the sky and knocked him, knocked the brick on his head, he'd still be holding on to those pinnacles just like you see him. Some unhealthy clinging, clinging going on here. Now, that Four of Pentacles is with justice, which actually deals with the idea of karma and possibly the law of cause and effect. So it's important for you to remember not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. Yeah. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Also, if you're directly involved in a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So coming up for you and your person, like I said, they realize that you've, you've blocked them and they see that you're avoiding them. For some reason, It looks like they could be trying to come back around to you. And they're going to cling on to you very tightly. And for some reason, they think that they have the right to do so. They feel justified in, in this unhealthy clinging. It's, it's, it kind of makes me feel like they think that you're theirs. They own you. Yeah, because the justice is about feeling justified, thinking you have the right to do so. Justice has been served. So, they feel like they have the right to hold on to you very tightly in a very unhealthy way. So, they, this person looks like they'll be coming back around. And they'll be squeezing the living daylights out of you. Just so that you, you don't get out of their grips. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Six of Wands and it's with the Devil card. The Devil card. Six of Wands actually signals victory. So, if you're anxious about a court proceeding where you want to win your lover's heart, just know you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or you may be receiving some type of reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands can make you feel really good about yourself. Makes you feel really good about yourself. So you may feel as if you've got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Now, it's with the devil card. With this card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, you do not want to let other people tell you that your options are limited. Now, if you come to that conclusion, you want to make sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have a feeling that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes so this will happen as a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling however slight, of being in control, even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they are important too. So your challenge, Gemini, Six of Wands, clarified by the Devil card. So like I said, your person, they're coming back around in, a, in an unhealthy way. Not only are they going to try to cling on to you really tight, 
but they come back bringing a lot of toxicity. This person wants victory. They want to. They want victory with you. They want success with you, and they want you to recognize them. And they're bringing. They're bringing them some. They're bringing with them some devil energy. Like I said, not only unhealthy clinging, but the devil card could be addictions, tox, toxic energy, toxic, toxicity, um, devil energy could be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, alcohol, drugs, drug abuse. Some type of devil energy they're bringing to the table. Along with this unhealthy clinging. Yeah, but they feel they have the right to do so. They feel they have the right to have you. They feel they have the right to have victory, success, and recognition from you. They, re they feel very deserving. For some reason, I don't know, what did you do, Gemini? So, they're making, the, they're making a return in a very unhealthy way. So, let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the High Priestess and the Suit of Three of Swords. Now, the High Priestess... It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is actually tied to the moon. It's tied to femininity, to inspiration. It's actually a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important that you pay attention to your dreams. If you keep a dream diary, it's going to be a really good idea really good idea. Now it's with the Three of Swords. Now with this card, it's not pretty as you can tell by the picture. There's an element of sorrow that's undeniable, but what's on the other side can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up. This way you can move past it. This card can also point to being, well, it can point to having some emotional issue, deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. If you try to deny any pain, it will, it will not make it go away. So you're going to need to allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough. So basically the outcome, High Priestess, clarified by the Three of Swords. So, this is pretty, it's pretty clear cut for the outcome. Yeah, so like I said, your person, they're making a comeback in a very unhealthy way. They're very attracted to you. They see you like the high priestess. But they also see that you're going to go silent on them. Because the high priestess will go silent. They go silent and they just sit pretty and sit quiet. And you're going to cause this person a lot of heartbreak. Yeah, looks like you could decide to sever ties, reject them, and shut them out. So, that is the reading that I have for you. Gemini, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below for 
the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles can be switched for this reading. You could be them, or they could be you. If you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, it could be a family member, or a situation. So please take the readings for however they resonate, because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So you have to take it, take the reading for however it fits your situation. So I can never say it enough, Gemini, thank you so very much for your support and thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And I usually say take care, but I, I forgot to mention, sorry about the noise in the background, but some things are out of my control, so I do what I can do to get the readings out, even though it can be difficult sometimes for you guys to hear me, but uh, earphones, headphones or earplugs, what do you call those things that will give you better sound? You'll be able to hear me better if you have headphones. I think that's what it is. So, yeah. Sorry about the noise, but thank you for watching. Hope to see you at the next reading. Hope you have a great day, and take care. And take care. And take care. And take care.